Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. In this video tutorial, we are going to create and customize our very own Python AI chatbot around unstructured data. Now, unstructured data comes in many different formats, PDF file, uh, websites, videos, um, uh, JSON files, text, and we're gonna look at some of these today. Now, this chatbot I made in a very simplistic and introductory manner because I want to teach you the core principles of embed chain that sits on top of Langchain and Dash to allow you to create and, uh, uh, and share this uh, web app and chatbot with others. You're going to take this and you're going to make it a lot more beautiful. You're going to make it a lot more powerful. Uh, but my goal is just to teach you the basics so you feel comfortable with building your very own chatbot. Now, this project is part of a, a long term um, project portfolio that I talked about in the last couple of videos where you're going to add everything that you build within the charming data community, you're going to add to your project portfolio. So you learn AI and Python together with us. And so you uh, continue developing your, uh, uh, your, your project portfolio. So you become more and more attractive to current and future employers. So if you haven't done so, join the charming data community click on the link above. It's completely free. It's completely open. Or just put charming-data.com into your browser. And here's where we are going to work together on projects and learn AI and Python together. So go to this Projects for Career Development space. We're currently working on this project for the Wild Bird Fund, where we're going to create this chatbot for. And um, you can read more about it here or come to our live meetup virtual tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern Time and next Monday, we will, where we will uh, discuss and work on this project together. All right, so how do we build this AI chatbot, right? We're building it for the Wild Bird Fund, the only Wild Bird um, uh, shelter organization in the city um, to help uh, birds that collide against windows or that are injured in New York City. And we're going to build a chatbot that is trained on the data that is in all of their web pages. So instead of looking for each and every page, a user can just come here, ask the question, and get the answer that uh, they are looking for or that is available inside the Wild Bird Fund organization. All right. So we need this code. This is how we're going to build the chatbot together. <coughs> you need to download this code to your computer. So go into my uh, GitHub. This is going to be uh, in a link under the video. And just download app.py, create everything, uh, highlight everything, and put it inside your uh, computer, uh, your, one of the folders, requirements, this, and, and the PDF as well. As you can see here, I have called this folder embed chatbot. You can call it whatever you want. But make sure that you have these four files in, on, in your computer. Pause the video and come back when as soon as you're ready and have everything in your uh, PyCharm loaded. Now, we opened app.py. The first thing we want to do is install these libraries, right? Um, to run our chatbot, we're going to need Dash, we're going to need Embed Chain, and we're also going to need um, YouTube Transcript and PyTube because we are going to train our bot on YouTube videos. So you're going to need to read the script and so on and so on. So instead of installing one by one, just open your terminal and do pip install our requirements.txt and it will install all the required libraries and their versions. Next, we have our OpenAI key, right? I will erase this key obviously after the video, but this key is uh, allows you to um, connect to uh, different models and um, LLMs, right? This is an open API key. This is, I think it's for free. You get up to $5 credits for it right here. I have mine. This is mine. I'll share under the video and you'll be able to create your own key for up to, I think, $5, which is which is a nice amount of, of tokens to uh, develop and play around with this, this chatbot. All right, and then you need the config file. Uh, you're going to uh, instantiate the app from embed chain. And in the config file, we're just going to use the OpenAI provider and we're going to use this embedding model, right? I don't think they have too many options in OpenAI. I think this is one of the only embedding models. So this is the one we are going to use. For now, we're not going to do a lot more with the config file, but as you get better and better after this video with embed chain, you'll be able to do much 
much more, right? The config file, if you go under API references and custom configurations, it will show you. You can choose different models in the config file. You can choose how many tokens you're using. Uh, if you want to stream the response or not, you can choose a prompt and say, when you answer the user, answer in a Shakespearean voice or like a pirate or whatever you want, right? This is uh, many different ways that you can uh, continuously figure your configure your uh, chatbot or your search engine or whatever you're building. Okay, so we have our config file and then we have our bot. This is our AI bot. Now we have to feed data to our bot. We have to allow the bot to train uh, to, to, to train our bot, right? So in this case, we're going to feed it the sitemap. Every decent web page will have a sitemap, right? It's usually sitemap.xml. In this case, it's page hyphen sitemap.xml. And these are all the uh, links that are going to be fed into the AI chatbot. And this is a, a sitemap, the data type is sitemap. So we put sitemap data type. Embed chain is usually smart enough to understand if it's a regular a website or it's a video. So I don't put uh, uh, the data type in each one of them, but you can if you want, right? Here I put PDF file because it's a PDF file. That's it. So we fed it the data to this chatbot. And now we have our layout, right? Because you need to uh, show something on the page. In this case, we're showing this, this basic chatbot. So we're going to take it here to the side like that. And we're going to have our pi uh, code right here. And you can see we have our first, we have our uh, title, viral bird font. And then we have our H3 title, so smaller font right here, where we explain that this is built, the chatbot is trained on the wild bird font site. We say, ask your question, ask your question. And here we have a text area, a dash uh, text area component right here. And then we have a button and a loading. I'll explain the loading later. And obviously this is our button right here. And that's it. We have our layout. <coughs> and now we have our callback. Callback is what creates interactivity. How to protect an injured bird. Let's see what it says there. And whenever I click on this button, it will trigger the callback function. Why? Because the end clicks of this button is what triggers it. It's this underscore right here. It's an input. So anytime I do, I click on the button on the submit, it's going to trigger the callback function and do something and then return an answer for us. All right. Okay. So we have the end clicks and we also have the question here. This is the value of the question area. What is the value of the question area? Value of the, is right here. Value of the question area is this. So this value at the beginning is none. But right now I asked this question. So now this string is the question itself. Now this is the question. So once I have the question and I click on the button, now the function is triggered. I am going to query the AI bot with this question and spit out an answer. Right? Everything has happened with embed chain, the open source library. And now I'm returning the answer. The answer is just a long string. I'm returning it to the children property of the output. Every object that you return in a callback function is assigned to the uh, property of an output. In this case, the children property. Right? So the children property of this response area is right here. So it's returning right here. Instead of an empty children, we are going to return this answer, which is a full, it's a full string, right? So this is just data that's taken from the sitemap from the Wild Bird Fund organization. But let's look at something else. Let's look instead of the sitemap, let's try this website. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna rerun right here. Python app.py. And this website is different. It's not the Wild Bird Fun. It's uh, Audubon something. Also, very much interested in uh, helping uh, birds while they migrate, um, especially against the collisions, um, against windows. So, we just trained our chatbot on all of this data right here. Not the sitemap, just this link right here, just this website. All right, so we'll go back to our app and now we're going to reload. And now we're going to say how to help prevent birds from colliding against my window, right? 
I just saw a bird that died last week as an example, hypothetically. How can I prevent birds from colliding against my window? So now it's going to take all the data that it reads from here, the unstructured data that it chunked up and prepared in, in a vectorized like numbers, zeros and ones. And, uh, and it's going to try to process, give you an answer based on that information, right? To help our birds, uh, birds from colliding, you can do take like six steps, right? Close blinds, pl uh, plant vegetation near the window, uh, reduce interior lighting, like six different things that you can do uh, just because we trained our chatbot on this right now. Let's look at one more, two more examples. We'll look at this example right here where we are training on a PDF file, right? Now this PDF file is, is locally, it's on my computer, it's right here on the same, in the same route, in the same path as this app file. So I just did it like this and I said data type PDF, which might work even if you don't uh, declare the data type and it's going to read this um, PDF file, right? Let's open it. It's going to train its day also about windows, right? So we can ask it maybe something else about here, how many how many birds are killed uh, on, on an annual basis. So let's see if that worked. How many birds die an annually from co window collisions? going to think this is the loading this is a DCC loading the spinner that you see here this is right here I just put everything inside a spinner a DCC low so the children this div where we get the answer remember the answer is is assigned to the children property right here this is wrapped in a side of DCC loading so that's why it's it's showing those uh, that spinner according to the French provided estimated number of birds annually from window collisions is between 365 and uh, 599 million so pretty accurate this is actually what the PDF says that's kind of cool lastly we can also do I'm gonna skip it. I'm not gonna show it right here but you can also do uh, a YouTube video so I uploaded this YouTube video that belongs to um, the wild bird fund that gives an introduction to the wild bird fund and it will read the, the I guess, the transcripts and that with these uh, two libraries that we installed, and then it will spit out an answer. We can ask something like, summarize the video, please. And it'll give you an answer about, about that video. All right, so this is how you build uh, and customize your AI chatbot in Python around unstructured data with Dash and with embed chain. All right. Again, as a reminder, this is part of the charming data community. So, right, click on the link above to join our community. Come join us. Let's work on projects together. Every month or two, we'll have projects that we're working on, and let's add to our project portfolio so we keep on learning and improving our skills in the area of AI and Python. I hope to see you here soon. I hope you learned a lot. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out.